Something that should be on every boater's mind is safety and precautionary measures while out on the water. If you're in a rowboat, speedboat, showboat, or pontoon, these tips should be useful. Tip number one, always check your local weather service provider before going out on the water. If for some odd reason the weather provider's prediction is wrong, look for darkening clouds, a temperature drop, or changing winds. Be safe and get off the water if a sudden weather change occurs. Tip number two, make a checklist before going out. We all forget stuff when we're rushing ourselves. Make a checklist before you head out. It will ensure that you don't forget anything important. Some marine safety supplies that might be helpful are a flashlight, first aid kit, additional life jackets, visual distress signal, and an audio distress signal. All of these supplies can be helpful in an emergency situation and can save your life. Tip number three, familiarize yourself with boating regulations, the layout of the lake, and the layout of your vessel. Knowledge of these things will be beneficial. It will provide extra safety on the water for you and your passengers. Tip number four, put your passengers to work. If you need help navigating or watching for other boats, you can use your passenger to assist you in watching for other boats or hazards in the water. Tip number five, get onto land or back in the boat as soon as possible if you fall in freezing water. Being in cold water steals your body heat 32 times faster than cold air. Find the nearest spot to get out of the water and swim there immediately. Treading water, trying to make a decision, can shorten survival time by almost 50%. Tip number six, know how to swim. As crazy as it sounds, there have been incidences of people falling off their boat and not being able to swim. It would make sense to take a swimming class if you're going to be around the water all day. Tip number seven, get a free vessel safety check. These are offered by the United States Coast Guard for free. You can find a local vessel safety check using the website in the description box below. Tip number eight, watch out for the prop. A prop can spin at 160 times per second, so it's best not to board your boat via the drive unit. Get a ladder and board the safe way. Tip number nine, install a carbon monoxide device in your boat's cabin. Carbon monoxide is odorless and deadly, so it's not a bad idea to install one if your boat has an indoor cabin to prevent you from inhaling the fumes. Carbon monoxide exposure, while rare, can be fatal. Do the smart thing and buy a carbon monoxide detector. Tip number 10, never go boating under the influence. The probability of getting into an accident while under the influence is doubled. Alcohol is intensified by natural stressors like exposure to sun, wind, and motion on the water. Do not put yourself in danger along with your fellow boaters on the water. Amplivox offers many products that can be helpful for your next boating trip. The half mile hailer can be heard over a half mile away. It would be great if your boat happened to stall in the middle of the water or if your vessel gets stuck. The hailer also comes with a siren that you can use as a distress signal. The Mighty Meg is another option for boaters. This megaphone is a lighter weight option to the half mile hailer. It only weighs 2 pounds and is weather resistant. This is also handy if you are pulling a water skier or wakeboarder. Don't worry about yelling over the loud motor, just use the Mighty Meg.